shark this morning? Uh, just first on the beach. Um, we come down for a walk most, most mornings um, along here into Norfolk uh, to turn her and back. And uh, yeah, Gemma saw it first and somebody else had wandered over to, to give it a prod or a stroke, I wasn't sure. Maybe just a sort of a, just in case it was still alive. And obviously I think everybody wants to get it back in the water if it was just beach, but it was it was long deceased, I think. But it still looked in pretty good shape. So you couldn't tell there was any damage to it. Uh, and the left, its right hand side was in the sand, so maybe it was injured on that side. Other than that, it looked unfortunately good, but no longer on, on this mortal coil. <laughs> and so, so did you call the Auckland Council? No, we didn't. There was a few other people gathering around it, and uh, everybody's got phones now, so we sort of just wondered whether uh, the council would get involved, or whether somebody would bury it, or whether nature would take its course. But it was a quite a big shark to be sort of eaten away by nature, I suppose. So interesting to know that the council came and took it away. Did you want to get carted off? No, no, we carry on walking. And you live in the area, so you've never seen anything like this before? No, very seldom we see the odd fish. Um, but there's a lot of dogs on the beach this hour of the morning, and I think they take care of the smaller bits and pieces. So <laughs> but that was a bit big, there was no, no dogs anywhere near it, and a bit scary for the dogs.